I grew up here in the city of Memphis, in a, a South Memphis uh, uh, area called uh, Lemoyne on Gardens uh, Projects. Um, I tell folks I grew up choosing to learn all the wrong things first. I never thought in my wildest dreams that I'd grow up to be a gang member, drug addict, drug dealer, or whatever. June 1st, God uh, sent this preacher by the name of Ronnie Tullis, who uh, told me, said, Ron, I'm not trying to tell you to put the big pistol uh, that you like carrying down, but I'm telling you, if you'll get Jesus in a temple, you'll run all the money changes out. That day there, I had decided Said, what do I have to lose? I trust in Jesus that day, and my life hasn't been the same since. I moved to Memphis about 12 years ago, became a member of Bellevue, and uh, never in my adult life had I ever given a lot of thought to city renewal until we started to uh, Bellevue Loves Memphis as a part of the church outreach ministry. In the summer of 2010, while my wife was battling uh, cancer and in the midst of chemotherapy treatments, uh, we were watching the local news, which they had a story on the on TV about this family, and it was a mother and eight children, and they had no power, their money had been stolen, and as a result of seeing that, the Holy Spirit spoke to us, to my wife and I, and said, help them. And that's where we came in uh, contact with Pastor Ronnie. That started our process of introducing this inner city missions work to our life group. We, as a life group, had been involved in various projects in, in, in Bellevue Loves Memphis. When we got involved and began to work with uh, Pastor Johnson and working with the congregation here uh, to provide meals on certain Sundays in the month, and we always come here. We have uh, probably on a given Bellevue Loves Memphis Day 15, 20 people participating in one capacity or another, whether it's painting, cleaning, and we even go out on the streets and we do some witnessing. We're instructed in scripture to, uh, to seek the benefit and seek the well-being of, of where we live. And this is where we live. And these are people, these are people that are made in God's image. They're people just like us. They're lost or they're saved. And what city renewal means to me is putting the love of Jesus in front of every person that we can come in contact with regardless of where they live. It's gonna take the church, meaning not just Miracle Redemption Church, but the body of Christ. Uh, and Beverly Baptist Church has, has been faithful to help renew the city with a, a, a fresh touch of um, unconditional love, showing compassion. We have a great mission field right here. The opportunities are all around us. And there's nothing, nothing that we can do any greater as a church, I believe, than city renewal and working and looking for those efforts to partner with uh, people who are on the front lines like Pastor Johnson is. The greater things have yet to come and greater things are still to be done in this city. Greater things have yet